Our next guest has sued Donald Trump twice, and she has won twice, most recently winning $83.3 million this past Friday. That's what a jury says that the former president owes E. Jean Carroll for defaming her in 2019. Last spring, you may recall, another jury found him liable for sexually abusing her decades ago. Trump is appealing both of these verdicts. E. Jean Carroll joins us now along with her attorney, Roberta Kaplan. We welcome you both. Thank you very much. I want you, you all to take us back to the courtroom on Friday because when we heard the figure, it was jaw-dropping. Because, Roberta, what was the number you were asking for? So we, there were three categories of numbers we were asking for. Compensatory damages, one to improve her reputation, one for anguish and fear. I just want to know the number. Yeah, what so we asked number? for $24 million. Yes. And then for punitives, I said to them, I'm not going to tell you what number to give. I didn't ask for a number. I said, you need to give enough money to make him stop. Okay, so you would ask mm -hmm. for 24. So E. Jean Carroll, take us to the moment. You hear the verdict, and it's $83.3 million. What goes through your head when you hear that number? Who can conceive of $83 million? Yeah. No, I am a mere human. Uh, I thought asking for $24 million was way over the top. I was, that scared me to death. To have the jury, first of all, to see the four women. This was nine people on the jury, uh, seven men, only two women, and the, four, the person who was in charge of it was a woman. She stood up as soon as we saw it was a woman standing up. We were sort of filled with hope. And Robbie... Same thing had, that happened last time, too. There was a we were holding hands and squeezing like this, and Robbie's writing what the jury's saying with this hand. She couldn't add it up. It well, it so took big. them three hours, which is pretty quick, considering all that they had to listen to. Three hours for them to come yeah. back with that number. Do you think they're trying to send a message? And if so, what do you think that message is, is a better question? I think they said, enough. Mm. Enough. Enough what? Enough saying horrible, slimy, terrible things about me. Mm -hmm. Do you That's believe it. Trump's behavior in the courtroom might have led to the 83.3 million? No question. It was not only in the courtroom, because he misbehaved in the courtroom frequently and he walked out on my closing argument right yeah. in the middle, but it was his behavior during the trial. During the trial, he continued to post nasty, defamatory things about E.G. and on True Social. He did videos, he did press conferences, and we played that all for the jury. And we said, he can't respect our system. Mm -hmm. There was a verdict by a jury who said he can't say this anymore, and he keeps doing it. And, and I think they had awarded $5 million at that point. Correct. Were you aware that he had walked out, Robbie? I wasn't yeah. really, because I was looking the other way, but then the judge said it. Mm -hmm. And when the judge said it, I obviously realized, and I thought to myself, whoa, that was a bad move on his Did part. the jury appear to be engaged in this case? You said it was seven men, two women? Very. How? Because we don't know anything about them. Yeah, correct. They Tell took us a, about their behavior. They took a lot of notes. They were very serious. They weren't, they, I think they felt they couldn't look at us until the end. At right, the end, they smiled right, at her. Right. But they were very serious, lots of note-taking, mm -hmm focused very hard on the witnesses. No one fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Look at jury. Carol, let's, let's talk about uh, the, or E.G., Ms. Carol, let's talk about the, the definition of victory here. Because money is one thing, $83 million, a ton of money, won $5 million before. But really, you want the behavior to stop, right? And I have to point out that in the aftermath of this <laughs> verdict, we have not seen the same language we saw mm -hmm. after the first. Does right. that feel like victory from where you're sitting? Momentarily, if, if Donald Trump needs to use me again to raise campaign funds, he will, I think he will do it. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, he's just using us. Um, and if he needs us, he will again. Ms. I would Carol, like to know uh, the toll that this has taken on you, Eugene, how you prepared for this. Mm -hmm. Were you ever afraid for your life? Were you ever worried about? Because when was the last time you saw Donald Trump? Because he didn't come, come to the last trial. He, he showed up for this one. So you guys are in the same courtroom together. What, what kind of toll, if any, did that take on you? How did you prepare? Were you nervous? Were you afraid? The last time I saw Donald Trump was in the dressing room in Bergdorf's. In 1996? 1996. Mm -hmm. And Robbie helped prepare me uh, to go to trial. He was going to be in the courtroom, we thought. And it was so terrifying to me. Uh, just in the preparation, I lost language when Robbie was helping me uh, get ready for trial. I lost language and had a breakdown. Mm -hmm. And um, oddly enough, the minute I got, saw him in the courtroom and Robbie was standing here and she said, good morning, Miss Carol, would you please spell your name for the court? And there he is in there. 
it turns out he's nothing. Mm. The fear lifted and just mm. went away. It just was gone because he's, he was, he's just, he's, he's nothing. He was nothing. I was terrified all the time. He is nothing. Mm -hmm. To that terrible. point, you've said that when you've actually faced the man, he's just a man with no clothes on. Yeah. It's the people around him that are giving him the power. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, Hans Christian Andersen's great fairy tale, The Emperor Has No Clothes, that is written about Donald Trump. It's just, we're the ones who clothe him in all this power. Mm -hmm. He has none himself. It's his followers. It's his hangers-on. In the court, they were strutting back and forth and handing him messages. It was, right, Robbie? Ms. Yeah. Carroll. Ms. Carroll, you say he's nothing. You say the emperor has no clothes. The emperor is trying to run for president yes. again. And, and right and, now is leading. And right now, the polls suggest uh, it's a <laughs> coin flip. It's very close. Um, have you heard from Joe Biden's campaign arm about potentially campaigning against the former president, Donald Trump? No. Are you interested in doing so? Do anything I can. That's well, a yes. Yeah. What was a tipping point for you, Rob, for you, Robbie? Because you won the five million dollars. What made you say we're going back into court? We're going back after him again? Because he didn't stop. I mean, he just didn't stop. And these, the original statements he made back in 2019, those were the ones that were so damaging. Those were the ones that made Eugene lose her reputation. Well, he said she was a whack job. Yeah. Yeah. And everything, all the damage. Trying to sell a book. Correct. Yeah. And that's what followed. Like she said, she you should answer this question, but Eugene gets death threats. Every day. Mm. Still? I, I've, still. I've read that you sleep with a loaded gun by your bed. Is that, oh, yeah. That's true, and you oh, still absolutely. do. Oh, absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. That puts it in perspective. Mm -hmm. We have to go, but you said you won't waste a cent. What do you plan to do? No, we're going to... So, do you think you're going to get the money, I think? Oh. That's a good question. That's a no, good we're good getting the money. Do you think you're going to get... Why do you think... Why are you so confident you're going to get Because even if he doesn't have the cash on hand, he has, has plenty of assets, and he may have to sell those assets to pay us, but... Mm -hmm. And what did you say, money? Nate? What wow. was your question about the money? What are you going to do with the money? Well, it's inspiring, this amount of money. I, we can do really a lot of good Some with things. this money. Yeah. So, e. Jean Carroll, Roberta Kaplan, thank you so thank much. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thank we'll you. be right back. Thank you. Thank you.